You came to me in a dream last night. You were standing in a brilliant light. One moment here, the next you were gone. I thought you could stay, but I was so wrong. Tonight, WWE's Tables, Ladders and Chairs pay-per-view from Houston, Texas. We'll see WWE Champion Randy Orton face off against World Heavyweight Champion John Cena in the Tables, Ladders and Chairs match to unify both WWE and World Heavyweight Championships. Who will walk out as Champion of Champions? I shall put my predictions up in a while. You see, as I've said many times, I've watched pro wrestling for over 30 years. So I have seen some of the biggest World Heavyweight Championship matches. And I mean both WWE, NWA, WCW, Ring of Honor, TNA, All Japan, New Japan, whatever title. Even the Triple, the triple Crown of All Japan I've seen some great matches for. You know, so this really cannot be denied as being a historic night. For the only second time this year, in 2013, the World Heavyweight Championship scene will change. What was the first change? The first change was All Japan, that Triple Crown being made into one belt, where before, previously, it had been, one, uh, it had been three championship belts. They have now made it into one championship belt. A move that was not very popular in Japan. So we this goes to tonight. Randy Orton versus John Cena. Now, many people have been asking why Randy Orton against John Cena. The answer to that most people know is very, very simple. The fact is, number one, these two guys are main eventers for the WWE. That can be no denying either. John Cena's headline WrestleManias, pay-per-views, Royal Rumbles, Orton has done the same. The second, and I think, in my mind, the majority reason why it comes down to John Cena and Randy Orton, and not somebody like CM Punk or Daniel Bryan. That's the only match we've got to see. The reason why it comes down to Randy Orton and John Cena is because these two guys are WWE bred. From the very start of their wrestling careers, they were under WWE contract. Through OVW, through all the different territories that they may have sent to to work, they were under WWE contract. So the two guys, they haven't wrestled in independent circuits or in the territories or across the world, gaining knowledge and experience, hoping one day to break down the barriers and make it into the WWE, like guys like Daniel Bryan, CM Punk and many others have done. They came up through the WWE system. They are WWE guys. And that's even considering the relationship Randy Orton has with Triple H and all that stuff. It's the fact that they are WWE brought up guys. From boys to men, they have been WWE contracted guys. And obviously, WWE has to be proud of that. The investment that they put into these two guys. The time that they have spent training these two guys. They've got their money's worth. These two guys sell a lot of merchandise. Headline the pay-per-views that people buy. Like them or not, John Cena does exactly that. Sells a lot of merchandise. Headlines the pay-per-views. Every comeback, and I don't like it, he gets a world title shot. The last couple of comebacks, world heavyweight title match immediately. Randy Orton has not been quite the same in coming back, but he does sell a lot of merchandise. You look at the figures. As I said, he is more, slightly more popular than John Cena. 
But it comes down to tonight, the World Heavyweight title versus WWE title. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb here, because I'm going to say that this outcome, and I'm still trying to decide who to choose for the win, which is why I'll put the predictions up in a little while after I finish doing the video, is that I'm kind of saddened by tonight, because I grew up watching WCW, which means, again, this. And I know this is, this is a WWE replica belt. This is one of the WWE replica belts, because that's the... Uh, I bought it when I could afford it. This belt, this designer belt, it's called Big Gold Belt. And this was the belt that I grew up watching as my world title. Because I watched WCW more than WWE. So, especially in those days when... The, w the NWA in, in late, uh, mid to late 80s and early 90s, when WCW was still with the NWA, travelled all around the world. When we read Ric Flair's book going to Japan, Korea, Germany, all across the world, he went and defended this belt. And this belt was the one that's been worn by Sting, Vader, Kim Nash, Bret Hart, so on. Lex Luger even held the belt. Ignore idiot actors. But, you see, this belt is the one that's going to disappear. They brought out, uh, just a few months ago, a new WWE Championship belt. I do not have a replica of that, unfortunately. I cannot afford it. But, that indicates one thing. Not only that, but the recent events, check WWE.com, they announced uh, California is hosting WrestleMania 31. Look at all the promotional material, Google it, search for it, look through all of the publicity material for WrestleMania 31, and you will see what is right there front and centre, the new WWE Championship belt. Which means one thing, and of course it is the WWE. As I've said before, branding in the WWE is so important to the company, as it is to any company. But particularly WWE, they're very, very careful about their branding. They don't want somebody to say, you're the world wrestling champion of which company. They want you to think, well to know in fact, not just think, but to know that that person right there, whether it be John Cena, Randy Orton, Daniel Bryan, Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, whatever the person is, even Fandango, if they were to hold the world title, you look at them, you look at that belt, and you know exactly which company that they are the champion of, WWE. So, tonight, sadly, is the last night for the big gold belt. That, I can promise you. I do hope that this match ends up in a decisive victory. It seems all the uh, cooing and all the, the wording coming out of Titan Towers in WWE, Hartford, Connecticut, it does seem certain that there will be a decisive victory in this match. To be honest, in my personal opinion, it is time. WWE has always been strongest when there has been one man, one champion, to be the focus to be the main person within the company, leading the company. Now, you may have heard about leaders of locker rooms, ring generals, and charity work. The champion is supposed to lead all that. The champion is supposed to be the person responsible for the pay-per-view buys, the attendance figures, for how many people actually physically attend the events. If you've got a strong champion, you'll have a strong attendance, strong buy rate, strong merchandise sales, or everything like that. That is why there is a champion in wrestling. Many other reasons, of course, but one of the reasons. So in my personal opinion, I do think it is time for the WWE to become with a single champion once more. To become with one person holding the championship. To be honest, I think it would refresh things. I know that WWE does not have 
the as strong really roster of main eventers that did in the 1990s in the Attitude Era, the Shawn Michaels, The Rock, Steve Austin, Undertaker, even Mick Foley as Mankind or Dude Love. But I do feel it is time for the WWE to have one man, one champion, one focal point, one person who they can point to. Again, look at the records. The WWE has been strongest when it's had guys like Superstar Billy Graham, Bob Backlund, the Iron Sheik, and of course Hulk Hogan as a single world champion. So tonight, it's history in the making. In the UK, I don't know about anywhere else, in America I know it's box office, but in the UK it is on Sky Sports 4. 1am, so it's really on tomorrow. 1am, Sky Sports 4 tonight. That's eight, uh, 4 and HD4 of course. So I shall be sitting there tonight watching the end. The end is here for the WWE's World Heavyweight Championship. The big gold belt will be retired after tonight. Again, I hope we do get a decisive victory. A one single champion. And tomorrow night on Raw, we will see, hopefully, the new champion come out with just the WWE. WE Championship Belt.